vetoed in Bibb County. Good evening and thanks for watching WGXA News at 10. I'm Victoria Cardenas. In the meantime, today was the first day of school for Bibb County and it was all online. We had the chance to catch up with Superintendent Dr. Curtis Jones about how today went and their plans for the future. Dr. Jones and the Board of Education are still looking at how to best approach the school year on a semester by semester basis. All right, thank you, Jeff. And new tonight, a federal complaint has been filed against the Irwin County Detention Center after a whistleblower accused the facility of performing unwanted hysterectomies. Ariel Mallory joins us now live with other disturbing accusations. We have breaking news just into the newsroom. The Georgia Department of Transportation is reporting that a pedestrian has been hit and killed in Houston County. The department says it happened on Georgia 247 southbound at Green Street. Right now, all lanes are blocked and taking an alternate route is advised. The time, the estimated time of voters, specific black voters to get out and go vote amid all the controversy with uh, Joe Biden's recent comments. Well, uh, today for me was uh, was. All right, thank you, Jeff. And night three of the mostly virtual Republican National Convention will continue an appeal to women following First Lady Melania Trump's keynote address last night. Several prominent female Republicans will take the stage tonight, including Kellyanne Conway, in one of her final addresses before stepping down from her role at the White House. He complaining that there's one named Vicky out <laughs> the Atlantic, but I am just happy floating around, minding my business. You're you're not creating too much problem out there. You're, you're messing yep. with the fish. That's about it. And that's fine with me. Yes. The fish needed, you know, something new over there. On you the weren't end. supposed to be listening <laughs> to that commentary. <laughs> And we are following several developing stories for you tonight. Florida police are still searching for the parents of a young boy who was found wandering alone yesterday in South Florida. Plus, parents, teachers and students in one Georgia county have been protesting a decision to start the school year completely online. But first, a potential coronavirus vaccine enters the third phase of clinical trials with tens of thousands of volunteers here in the U.S. 365 days with no suspects and no leads. That's the reality for the family of a young mother murdered in Ben Hill County last September. Now on the anniversary of her death, her sister is speaking out. Macon Mann is in jail tonight on two counts of felony child molestation for abuse that happened between 2012 and 2013. According to arrest warrants, 44-year-old Lane Chastain molested a 15-year-old girl who babysat his children. The warrants say the victim would spend the night at Chastain's home about twice a month. Reports go on to say that Chastain would forcibly touch her inappropriately during that time. Deputies, a person filed a complaint about a Snapchat video that showed two older men, quote, horse playing with the child. Investigators arrested Trentavius Morgan, Jaquavius Bloodsir, and Tradarius Singleton and charged them with simple battery. The child's mother, Rhonda Benford, is charged with cruelty to children and criminal negligence for allowing the child to be unsupervised. A new week on Capitol Hill starting with some hope that Democratic leadership in Congress can strike a deal with the White House on coronavirus relief. Weeks of failed negotiations led President Trump to sign four executive orders, which are being questioned by some in his own party. The real question tonight is, do you know what you're going to be dressing up as for Halloween? I know what my <laughs> wife and daughter want me to dress up. Okay, what is that? Well, they've got the Wizard of Oz theme going. <laughs> so what do you so think much. I'm getting out of the Wizard of Oz? Um, now be smart about this. It's I, I staring wanna, you. I would say the, either the Cowardly Lion. Nope. No? The Tin Man? Nope. The Scarecrow? The Tornado. Oh! I should have seen it's that. It's not one. that hard. I should have Weatherman. Seen it. I'm sorry, Justin, to disappoint you. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching WGXA News at 11. Have a good night, everyone.